Oh, big crumple though. Oh, not close enough to get the close hard kick. Yep. So let's see the setup. Bait. All right, gonna get it. Oh wow, didn't get the cancel. It's uh, a setup. Oh okay. <laughs> okay, we'll <see. laughs> it was a setup. We'll go with that. Yeah, man. No, nah, but uh, Robbie missing his cancel. However, he still gets a car throw out of it. So Robbie still with a huge life lead here. Oop. Chachi needs to find those anteers. There we go. Good stuff. Here's a good start from Chachi. One bar to work with. We're gonna see him get that second bar for the ultra one conversion. Yeah. And so uh, I want to see him throw. Through some fireballs, you can still do so with Robbie's uh, Ultra 2 regardless. Yeah, definitely. There we go, that's a good example of one. Wow, Chachi eating a lot of counter hit damage. Oh, okay. No DP for intended. Robbie. Yep. Yeah. Good throw from Chachi, I'd like to see more from that. Probably the best advice and throws I've ever received is from Cups, and it was uh, throw early and throw often. Yeah. And, I, sure. and we're not seeing that from Chachi at all, or Robbie, to be honest. However, Robbie's game plan does seem to be working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a ver uh, a uh, matchup that Robbie is well-versed in. I mean, he for a long time before Ultra came out, he just played with Ryan all the time, and Ryu was Ryan's original man. No DP there from Chachi, of course. Uh, there we go, Ooh. good DP early. Yeah. There we go, good. no punish. He tried to get the two crowd strongs a little too far away to get, to get those. Good damage from Robbie B. Yep. And has the corner here with three bars and ultra stock. This is looking scary for Chachi. Close right me and kick ultra two. Let's go. Ooh, I don't. I don't like the cross up in the corner. Yeah, and Chachi taking full advantage of this, walking back and, and establishing the corner as his own. So now we see him with some great spacing here. Yeah, but Robbie's still dominating the fireball game right now. Oh, okay. Finds that counter hit stand strong. Well, of course, uh, Chachi cannot afford a fireball with that ultra two stock from Robbie V. Good touch yeah, to get definitely. himself out of the corner. Wow, that was amazing conversion from Robbie V. Alright, and it's looking rough for Chachi right now. Has the meter disadvantage wow. and didn't believe in his reactions to alter through the fireballs. Yeah. And so, Chachi, I'd like to see just a little bit more throws. I think uh, Ryu's got the up close game as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not. He Let's go, man. All right. Let's go. Man. Let's go. Beat this man up. Up next, we have uh, Mason Mason God versus Watson. Both these players, uh, really, what's he based? I'd definitely say Mason and... Uh, I'll check. Yeah. That's not the right match. Not at all. So Robbie V taking that two, uh, to zero. That's good stuff to both players. Yeah, can we get? It's either did Sonic split Sonic Spire and Devon? What was that? Devon, Devon. Yeah, Cups and Mason gone. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that confusion, guys. I actually get on stream, Watson. Jesus, have to play. Nope. Uh, nope. You gotta play. No, I mean I'm about to get bodied by Robbie next, though. So. Rip. Dude. You're gonna body him. Body it. Rip. Let's get started. But no, uh, I'm definitely excited to play that set though, because as as hard as it is, I do love playing Robbie. And so yeah, Watson. Or excuse me, we have Cups and Mason gone. Uh, uh, yeah, I think Cups is outside. Uh, he was. Yeah. He's so small, dude. He's so weird. I can't even see him. All right, so uh, got Cups versus Mason coming up. Gonna probably see Ryu versus Cody. I'd be very surprised to see any other characters from these two. Uh, and uh, this is definitely a matchup that Cups is versed in. And Cody has has some pretty good anti Ryu tools. They get rocked. Despite not being one of the stronger characters in the game. Yeah, and uh, Cups, of course, having the Eye of the Tiger for sure tonight. He's trying to oh, he hasn't totally. entered an attorney in a bit, and he wanted to uh, come back and try to show his progress as a Cody player. Yeah, definitely. So uh, now we see uh, Cups starting out strong, using his uh, using aggression here against Mason, and already using Zon to get through that fireball. Good DP bait, going to put Mason Gut in the corner. Ooh, big damage, too. Absolutely. Oh, okay, good fireballs from Mason. 
Yeah, Tufts can't really do much about this. Of course, Zonk is only really good uh, at closer ranges. Yeah. And so now we see Cups now in Zonk range, and you can see him using it. It's only negative eight on block or something like that. I think it's negative seven or negative eight, so it's not too negative actually. Yeah, very hard to punish when spaced correctly. Absolutely. And of course, you see that proper spacing here by Cups. Whoops, I did not update the. Uh... There we go. Now the uh, s scoreboard's updated. Sorry about that, guys. Ooh. Great with punish with the forward medium punch from Cups. Finds that counter hit low short, but not able to convert it into big damage. Mason landing a big combo off a cross up. Yeah. Looking poised to take this first round right now. Absolutely. And Cody don't... having the bar though. Wow. Wow, super smart stuff from Mason. See, that was Cody without a with a decent reversal. He'd be able to DP through that DP of reuse. However, Cups has to charge his uh his reversal, which out makes him, you know, have to think quite a bit ahead. Yeah. In terms of when oh, he can drop reversal. the FADC combo. Good bat spray. Get some conversion off of the. Uh, you see, crafty mean punch coming out here from Mason. Got quite a bit. Cups throwing him in the corner. Oh, okay. Lands the counter hit and the big damage. Well, decent damage. Wow, counter hit again. Yeah. And uh, this is what Cody thrives on. Yep. Wow. And that's Cups coming round. out strong. Yeah. That was a strong second round. Yeah. Very good answer. Back to uh, Mason's solid play in the first game. Yeah, and now we see Cups with the meter advantage, having almost three bars. Of course, uh, Cups special being the uh, EX Zonk FADC. That is definitely the uh, Cups special. Mm -hmm. and, but you're not going to see it here. You're not going to need that third bar just yet. Now he has three bars. He can go for the Cups special whenever he likes. Yeah. Good Ooh, overhead. Yeah. That's and that overhead is plus on block, too. Plus three, in fact. That is some crazy big damage, too. It does like 120, 160, I can't remember. Yeah. But it's considerably more than your average Ryu overhead. Yeah, and if you're if you're close enough on hit, it can be linked into a uh, crouch light kicking. Is that going to work? Combo. It will work. Good timing in, in execution by Mason God. Oh, I don't like that jump by Mason, but luckily... Cups was holding Zonk and not able to anti-air. Okay, yeah. finds a big crumple. That's not gonna. Yeah, oh, that's, that's gonna juggle. Yeah, not gonna be well though. Mason God can punish. Yeah. Not with the proper punish though, but he can still chip him out. That's yep. unfortunate for Cups, of course. Uh, looking to do that EX Rock after focus grants him a little extra damage. However, uh, looks like he's a little late on it. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, of course, taking. Yeah, and that's why, uh, like, me personally, uh, and I've told Mason this before too, I'm not a big fan of uh, going for, like, high startup moves. After focus. After, uh, yeah, after, after a Absolutely. Like, like, uh, uh, like Hugo's I, Clap is another good example. Yeah, or, like, even reuse solar plexus. Oh, yeah, if, that's if you're another not, good example. If you're not, like, frame perfect, they'll just, you'll just juggle them out of it. Yeah, and you'll only get the 60 damage and, and uh, air reset them. Yeah, and that's what I, why I told Mason, just go for Stand Fierce DP, because you already have the scaling from the uh, crumple, so there's no reason to go for the long one frame Yeah, the only thing you get is a little extra stun, the damage is practically the same. Yeah. Absolutely. And so now we see Mason coming out strong, uh, bad spacing by Cups. And so, wow, okay, Mason got with a big DP. Yeah. Wow, two throws in a row by Cups. You can tell he's a little bit on the, uh, on the tilt side, however, Cups is known for his, uh, for his, uh, Combined, but that's gonna be big damage here on Cups. Yeah. Cups can still do this though. He has two bars and fully stocked ultra. Ooh, I don't like the jump ins. Yeah. Though. Okay, here we go. We got big damage from Cups. What's he gonna get next? Wow. Let's go, Nick. So now we see match point here for Mason God. Yeah. That. So now we see a jump in combo, drops a combo though, good conversion though, still goes for the throw, gets the damage. Cross up on the other side. No damage from Cups, didn't quite bite, Was ma is Mason God. When pushing him away with these fireballs. Yeah, and so you see Cups with a, proper, a properly spaced medium kick, roughing kick. So now you see big conversion here, and he's got setups. He goes to the side, Mason God jabbing him out of that combo. Wow, that fast jab, we're gonna beat out the slow overhead of Cody. So now we see what's the setup. That jump medium kick gonna cross him up. Side. Doesn't complete the combo. This gonna be an opportunity for here for Mason God. Yeah, okay. Another conversion. Oh, I don't like that choice. Wow. Oh, but gets him on chip. Yeah. Or not chip, but. The uh, uh, back dash. Yeah, the back dash. That crouching, oh, we might as well be that crouching like does 20, 20 damage. Yeah. Crouch short does no damage to Cody. Here we go. Good EX side to start the round. 
He can use that every like 20 rounds on you. He gives you like EX slide. Remember this? Yeah. Hits low and uh, I mean it's super fast. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, that is special. Yeah, that is kind of hard to punish if you block standing. Yeah. Akuma can actually stand block and then go to crouch block, unlike a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. Good punish, the good uh, bait there. Didn't quite get a punish he wanted. Oh wow, low pro the rock. Yeah, that rock is not a great projectile. That's all, but it's all Cody has. Yeah. Uh, good anti-air. The one advantage it does have though is that uh, Shadows can't Tatsu through it. Wow. Mason got and taking it. Mason a takes the set. Two zero. Uh, would you call that an upset? I don't know. I, I think Cups is just off today. But yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it's just, he was looking for different things than what Mason God did. He looked for, okay, he's going to crash like it here, and he got swept. And then he's like, okay, he's not going to do anything here. He's going to crash tech PDP. Right. Like, every single rock, paper, scissors moment definitely um, was definitely not in Mason's, or was all in Mason's favor, in fact. Yeah. And that's sure. and that's really unfortunate for Cops. However, Mason God, uh, upcoming player here in the shop, showing his stuff, uh, incorporating that throw game into his plan, and showing with anti ears and footsies what he can do. Yeah, definitely. Up next on stream, I need Charlie and Foley. Winner side. <laughs> oh man. Full bleed cracks me up. I wonder if this is actually the right right uh setup here. So we'll get that name changes up there. There we go. We got Charlie and Full Bleed. Full bleed known for his fantastic uh Blanca. Blanca, absolutely. So I think I've probably switched. Yeah, uh... Most likely. Uh, we don't know. They might be switched. Yeah, we're not sure. And this Charlie, known for Hakan, both of these guys playing uh, some rather unconventional uh, characters. So uh, I like to see that, though. Like, I'm, I'm all about the unconventional characters in fighting games. There we go. We got the name set up. So Charlie is a con we showed earlier versus Robbie V. Yeah. That is some sweet stuff. Mm -hmm. And also full bleed being shown on stream earlier as well is Blanca. Of course, something to be not to be messed with at all. Yeah, and uh, Blanca traditionally is pretty good against grapplers, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I he's know, got I know long range fights. Yeah. However, this might be different because Hakan isn't a grappler when it comes to his footsie game. He has that amazing focus attack you right. expect on characters like Rolento and uh, Fei Long. Right. Of course, Ooh, and the wake up lightning kind of risky from Foley because you can SPD that, correct? Absolutely. Wow, Ooh. big damage. Combo? Yeah. yeah, he did. Wow, good stuff. Oh, wow, he fell out of it. Well, shouts to Hakan's headlocks. <laughs> wow, good slide there. That's properly space hour. If it didn't hit, you can guarantee that would be SPD from Charlie, especially that Ultra 1 stocked up here for Charlie's side. Yeah, okay, so I, I feel kind of conflicted about Full Bleed's game right now. I like him sitting on his lead, but I don't like him backing off and letting Charlie out of the corner. Especially building on that meter. Because, of course, Charlie's going to sit here and just build meter. Yeah, ooh, great punish on the uh, Blanca balls with the shoulder tackle, too. Wow, there's even more proper punish. This yeah. Forward hard kick. That's some good stuff to Charlie, knowing exactly where to put his buttons and exactly how to punish. He has a full bar of super and a round up. Yeah. That's some good stuff here to Charlie. As a side note, Hakan Super is actually my favorite move in the game. <laughs> 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 so let's see if Charlie knows how to use it or if he's going to use something else with his meter. I have no idea what he uses. Yeah. 
I just always see him use uh, EX Slide, FADC. Wow. I mean, I feel like that's a much better usage of meter, especially if you uh, have EXSB right there. Yeah. So now we see Charlie. No oil, though. Didn't like that part. However, uh, wow, that's Ooh, big damage. Him. Not yeah. big damage, though. No oil in Hakan. This is going to do poop poo damage, if I had to say so. Yeah. He's Still not even gonna dead. put him pretty comfortably in the lead, though. Yeah, that's look at it. It was barely more than a regular SPD. Barely more than a regular SPD. Wow, forward medium punch, taking it that shoulder tackle from Charlie. Full bleed's got to get his head in the game. I like I what I love about full bleed is he has the eye of the tiger mm. right before you play. But the problem with full bleed, he sometimes gets a little uh, you know wild up while he plays. He's a solid player, and you just remember that he is a yeah. really good player. He has really good footsies. He has great fundamentals. There's no reason why he should ever be worried against any player. Mm -hmm. I mean, here you can just look right there. See, I already see him uh, trying to outfit Charlie. However, as soon as Charlie gets in, he gets that big damage. What's next? Charlie representing that focus attack at max range. That's actually a combo. The uh, focus attack into forward medium punch is an actual combo. Wow. Wow, the oh, bait. But will it hit regardless? Yes. It will hit regardless. Yeah. And this time, not going to fall out of it. <laughs> Well, oh, good yeah, bait from Full Bleed. Full Punish is right. Full Bleed. Full Bleed still in this, and now content to just sit on this lead. And that is a ton of meter here for Khan. That, that he's doing the uh, slip and slide SPD, and we instantly cancel the counter cower crouch for big meter. Yeah. Wow. And going to go for the ball for Chip. I and like the idea. How did he win that round? Footsies. Yep. Fundamentals. That's how Full Bleed wins games, and that's exactly how he won that round. Yeah, exactly. And so full bleed now, I would see him do it again. There's a slide punish, the whip punish on whatever Charlie did. I can't tell you what it is. Yeah, yeah, I don't really know. I, I don't even know what Hakan's, like, which normals or what, let alone <laughs> the names of his moves. <laughs> like that forward thing. He kind of went forward, I guess. So now you see the SPD here from Charlie getting almost a super bar it is both players. Wow, didn't quite focus attack properly, and so full bleed going to punish. Yep. Both players sitting on pretty even life right now. Ultra. Stock for full bleed. The FEDC puts a pretty advantageous guest on the uh, good read, I mean, on for Charlie on the uh, air throw. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, meaty slide. That is disgusting. That is yeah. a safe setup there from... Uh, is, is Charlie going to block? That is the question here. He blocks perfectly. Good punish as well. Gets maximum meter. Yep. He so gets Charlie on match point now. Yep, that's maximum meter there for Charlie, and so now he's so we see match point here for Charlie. Here I come. Wow, almost a good punish there. No uh, punish there from Charlie. However, that's not going to matter too much. Wow, here I come. Again, gaining that meter is uh, is Charlie. Wow, messes yeah. up his cower crouch. He's going to go for it again. Wow, he messes up again. Yeah, and Foley just kind of letting him hang himself right now. Yeah. Which, I mean, can be scary against Takan because he'll build all this meter. He can build up oil. But, you know, Foley content to just sit on his lead still. <laughs> <laughs> and get altered for his troubles. <laughs> Dang, dude. That was crazy. Yeah. Full bleed. Getting ultra it, even it out in one simple trick. Yeah, Cable I mean. companies hate him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, he's still in this. Gets the red focus combo into ultra. That's gonna not going to work. That seemed like it's too late. Yes, yeah. it was too late. What's the punish from Charlie? That's the big key here. Gets the uh, full grab. Not going to kill is Charlie. Rainbow Ball going to oh, take wow. it. Wow. Scrub Buster. Yeah, I mean... Nothing else to really say about that. Scrub full Buster. Full Bleed kind of... That is 1-1. One, one. This full is a bleed, good... Uh, full Bleed really got lucky there. Yeah, and, absolutely. Because that was reversal, I think, so he couldn't focus no, it. Could not focus it. Uh, wow. No links. That was a six-hit combo. Folks stack into all those. Wow. Good reads for Charlie here. Wow, the reads on this man wasn't holding up. However, still gonna get stunned. Yep. Let's see him get the max meter. Doesn't quite get it. Oh, that's still gonna kill regardless. Yeah, so once again, Charlie gonna be on match point. Can he take it? That is the question here for Charlie. Both players staying on even meter. Charlie on match point. Charlie again backing up towards the corner, gaining way more meter than Blanc than he could ever imagine by doing electricity. Yeah, for sure.
Here I come. Wow. Goes right into SPD. It is Charlie. Good read again. Here here comes Charlie. What is he going to see? We have a uh, EX rainbow or EX up all to get himself out of the corner. Is that going to combo? That looked good. It's not going to work. So now what's the punish here for Charlie? That, that'll that work. Uh, Ultra's a little hard to hit there, but however, Charlie's still with his stocks. Yeah. <laughs> Rex. Yeah, hold that, Lux. In. Wow, that was a that was an adjustment. He jumped the last time. Fully jumped the last time, and uh, right. Charlie did a cross up. Now full bleed, fighting for his winner's bracket life here. Wow. And staying in it. Both play it. Both players match point. Charlie with the meter advantage, and he will definitely have meter advantage when going into the next round. Of course, giving as much meter as he'd ever like to. Yeah. Charlie backing up his classic backup strats. Oh. No, does not hit the link for the first time. Popcorn chicken? What? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> wow. Good, good, good to come from there from Charlie. Full super. Yeah. Wow, grabs it out of the air. All right. Fully at quite the deficit right now. And Wonka, not really the uh, greatest potential for comebacks. Yeah, and we see Hakan with a huge life lead here. Meaty slide. That's going to get beat out, maybe? Yes, it will. Full punish from Fully. This is all his right. comeback potential. That's all he had for comeback potential, though. Wow. You right. Rainbow Ball. He's definitely going to have to chill out with the neutral jumps. Yeah. That Blanca is known for... Wow. Right. Standing fierce. We'll take it. What? Yeah. Yeah. Next up, Fireteam and Red Sea LS3, please. All right. So, Fireteam going to have to step off to play. Uh, looks like we're going to have Robbie V hopping on here with me. So, uh... uh all right. All right. That was hey man, a you lost strong, it. strong match there. Man, Charlie coming out looking so strong tonight. It's awesome. Yeah, it's it's really cool. I really love. Uh, Do you remember this match? Was this two one? Uh, yeah, I think it was two zero actually. Okay. All right, guys. So if you are following along at home, please check out our challenge bracket. Yes. Whoop whoop. Shout All outs right. to Wraith. Shout out to KC Notorious, Young Alan Jackson, somebody else in there too. All right, uh, start with an M. So I got to imagine uh, players did not call for a double blind. So I, I got to imagine Fire Team's probably going to go with Seth here. Uh, he knows that matchup's really hard for Ryan yep. personally. Uh, so I, I got to, I be really surprised to see Rolling Thor from Ryan. Uh, I mean, he may try it game one, but uh, I know he really hates Rolling Thor versus Seth. Uh, so I'm, I'm imagining we'll probably see Ryu, Sakura, Evil Ryu, any combination of those three. Alright, so I really like this pick here by Ryan. We were talking about it before the match got, got going. Mm -hmm. um, he was talking about how he was going to play Sakura against... Fire team, and I said, I don't know, dude. I feel like your Ryu played really well last week. You just got the bad side of the coins, right? So, going with Ryu here, this is also this is just the best way to test the waters because what's going to happen if Red Seo does get a win here? Well, then Fire Team's probably going to go to Akuma. Then if I, if Fire Team beats Ryan, then he gets to go to, to Relento. Yeah. So I feel like Ryu is your is your middle of the road character here, and let's see how we uh, are going to start this off here. So fireballs early on, good good damage. Jump in. Great anti-air. Okay, this he needs to continue the pressure on Seth right here. Doesn't believe in it. That's the yeah. kind of stuff Ryan is so known for. But fire team answering right back with a DP of his own. Knockdown territory. Looking for the instant head stop. Doesn't get it and sucks up the this focus. Play by Ryan right now. Yeah, it's confident. That's okay. You can take this damage. Yeah. This that being said, not a particularly damaging ultra. No. That being said, uh, if fire team plays his focus attacks correct, he will have this ultra stocked again by the end of the round. Yeah. Here's the mix up. Also what? gets a free setup off the ultra. Yep. And that's the most dangerous part of it, not really the damage. Oh, okay, landed in front. I this SPD, this is the mental damage. Ryan's got to recover from it. Fire team on a tear right now. Yeah. Delay wake up, nice DP. Yeah, again, and see, all he needed was that DP, and he's right back in it. Oh, and look at that hit confirmed. That be the round. Yes. Oh, Great stuff from Ryan. Yeah, Ryan looking confident about that, man. That was 110% hit confirm. 
my god that's good stuff whoa are we dropping okay we're not dropping frames good good focus attack all right don't like the dp but that's okay you can afford to take a little bit of damage right now that's okay you know you lose two bars and get spd whatever yeah i mean watch out again again that hard dp and he's right back in it wow i'm surprised there were no buttons after that smart stuff by fire team follow it up both these players are going ham right now this is dangerous territory for a fireball though do not want to take Ultra. Ryan's got to be cognizant of the fact that Ultra is locked in. Mm -hmm. And look at Fire Team threatening. And there it is. Yep. That is probably not going to kill, but it is going to be one percent. Not a lot of not a lot where you can do to get out of here right now, short of a DP Ultra. But that's not even going to kill Seth. Try to DP limbs here. Okay. You know you took two bars. Yeah. I mean, look at the huge meter advantage. Right correct. Now, right. So Ryan has Ryan has on paper the advantage right now. Whoa, is that a... I think that was an Xbox glitch. Uh-oh. Big punish damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what's going to be the next mix-up next time they're close like that? That is going to be important. Wow, Red CEO on a point. Watch out for DP. There it is. Oh, man. Fire team playing so Gamble King right now. Nice okay. low 40x fireball. Got to watch out for that again. God, these guys' DP reads are on point right now. Fire team with the big yeah. damage. Don't fireball. Right? Oh, that would have been it right there. Yeah, Ryan jumping a lot. Watch out for fi fire team's anti airs. They will yeah. bop you. That said, uh, oh wow, fantastic conversion. Oh, good idea. Fire team dropping up. Oh, walk up through. Good break. What's Ryan got? Watch out for SPD. That's what's coming. Oh, he almost hit a walk for DP. Oh, that's gonna be the round. Fire, oh man, Red CEO on the cusp. The fire team taking it, good stuff. Yeah. Both these players are going balls to the wall, risk, such risk heavy play and it's paying off. Yeah, dude, the, the, the tightest thing about this matchup right now though too is like this is like the main character versus the main villain. Yeah, it's canon, it totally is. Can Ryan use can Ryan use the power of friendship to overcome? <laughs> oh, oh, big damage. Oh, oh misses. Combo. Crouch fierce. That's still going to be good damage against Seth, though. Big damage here. Okay, kept it simple. Ooh, I don't like him cornering himself there, though. Ooh. Head stomps. What's the mix-up? Stay. Oh, baited it out. Mm. Not going to kill quite yet. Red Seal's got one more chance. I don't know, man. It's going to be rough. Oh, oh my god. Is this going to kill? Wow. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Okay. Here comes the mix up. That that SPD is the biggest enemy of Red CEO right now, and he is making it work so well. Fire team on the offensive. No teleport mix up this time. Oh no! And all the meter in the world. I think that was a missed input. Fire team not really known for blowing super like that. Yeah. He's very he's very good at using his meter. I think that was a missed input. But it, uh, right now, huge life lead. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know, man. Don't burn meter this late in the match. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to make up that meter. Fire team knows. Like, look, I have. Oh, Ryan, kind of resigned that round to build meter, but just out of range where you don't want to do that. Yeah. All right, so fire team at match point. This is Ryan's playing very well right now. You just gotta believe. Fire team also on point. Big crumple. Only getting a sweep. Mix up in the back. All right, Ryan's sitting at, at a pretty big deficit right oh, now. Oh, he let the focus buttons go early. Yeah, he's not mad. He's not happy about that one. Good DP. Grind out of that. Nah, it's skulls. You're not getting out of that. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. Well, that happens with Seth, man. Yeah. Nobody in this nobody in this building can contest that kind of stuff. So we will see winners finals. Fire team and Red CO. We're gonna hop back down to loser side. Um, real quick. Uh, Mason and D uh, Devon on screen. All right, so coming All up right. next, Mason God. Might be his first top eight ever here at Top in the Shop. Playing yeah. strong today. I think he made top eight last week. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Honestly, if I had to choose any of our up-and-coming players, he's probably made the most advancement.
Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Yeah, we got uh, Watson Chan and Robbie V. These two guys are footsie masters, that is for sure. So uh, Robbie V, knowing his uh, Chun Li and his Ken, uh, these are some great characters he uses that uh, he can beat some uh, pretty good players up with. And then also we have Watson Chan, only known for. All right, what's up, big players? He is. He is a. He definitely has the uh, solid, solid footsies to go along with his uh, solid game plan. So, yeah, we have Watson Chan and. Robbie V, again, can you get those names changed up for you guys real quick? We'll see you in just a sec. Uh, what's up, young Alan Jackson? You miss Fedora night, bro. Yeah. I will never, ever go on vacation again. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know if you've ever had one of these fire memes. But uh, peanut butter cheesecake. It is actually very delicious. It is very good. I didn't believe until Jeremy let me try his, and then I became a fan. Of the, of the peanut butter cheesesteak? Of the peanut butter cheesecake. Cheesesteak? No, cheese yeah. <laughs> like, actual, I was like... I was legit trying to fucking find some way to, like, turn put meme into it, but I fucking couldn't... I couldn't figure it out. When peanut butter meme cake, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> meme cake? That's kind of shitty. That, that is pretty... So, uh, yeah, Robbie V and Watch Chan, I can't wait to see these guys duke it out. I, see, I definitely say that Robbie V is definitely the, definitely the favorite. However, I want to see how much damage Watch and Chan can do in this match. Yeah, Watson has been, well, when he played his match against Red CEO, he did a lot of drop punishes. Like, he, like Red CEO just did a whole lot of whiff moves. Yeah. And it, Watson never fucking capitalized on it. Sure. And he missed out, he missed out on it. There was one round where they missed out on about three game-winning combos each. Sure. Because they were just like so nervous. So we see the uh, shake these nerves off and let's go in the game here. Probably be using that fireball game, but instantly punishing the, the first over. fireball uh, soccer thrown. Yeah. Absolutely. That step kick can be pretty big here for Robbie V. However, soccer it does have quite a few with punish uh, normals you can use. The stand light kick, crouch knee kick, and standing fierce all work pretty well. As well as the stand light punch. Stand roundhouse all day. And that is a fantastic footsie tool, the just as a poke. Wow, good combo there. EX fireball to step kick. And then gets the uh, thunder kick to finish it out. Meme and a little too hard. Wow, good punish. Sniffs that heavy kick uh, Tatsu out of the air. All right, gonna have to see that. Get some more pressure. He gets the trade confirmed out of that stand fierce, uh, the close fierce trade. You can confirm into a Tatsu, or I mean to a crouch roundhouse or crouch main kick. Well, that's pretty sick. But no trade confirmed. That's okay. Um, still got plenty of damage out of it. Watson just walking right up. I like the confidence. Absolutely. And so now we see Robbie car B. Grab. Yep, the car grab. Car grab again. I like seeing this for Robbie B. Throw early and often. It's a good damage. Didn't get max damage. Oh, that's going to be quite good here for Robbie V. Too far away from the overhead to work. What's the move even called officially? Uh, the back medium kick. Uh, I, don't, I know the back roundhouse is a uh, thunder kick. I'm not sure. Or forward roundhouse, excuse me. Anyway, Sakurai with the life disadvantage here. Two bars to work with, but Robbie V. Frame trap. Yeah, showing his dominance there. That's one up for Robbie V. I was like, you misspelled Watson Chan. Dude, it's Watson Chan. Watson Chan. <laughs> it's like Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, dude. There we go, get the names fixed. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so, Robbie making Watson respect it with the fireball game. Yeah, and there's a crouch medium punch into the car grab. Set up into the Another overhead counter kick. hit. Wow, good combo there. Can't complete it, though, because of, uh, you know, Ken doesn't have any really real options to combo after that. Yeah. i like to see Ultra there. However, I mean, the combo will work. He also gets corner carry this way. So yeah. now he gets corner pressure. Well, additionally, the Ultra one keep Ken in the corner. Oh, yeah, that's true. Unlike the, uh, some other ultras in this game, for sure. But, <laughs> yeah. Like, Akuma's ultra too. Shout out to being mid screen no matter where you hit it. Anyway, uh, sacrificing that three frame stand light kick super button. Uh, good punish here, but gets pushed out of the corner. That's going to be pretty detrimental here for Watson Chan. Yeah. He just lost all that space that he worked so hard for. Absolutely, absolutely. Dan Ron, how's coming here from Robbie V? 
Good fireball there. He's not using them often. And of course, Robbie rocking an ultra one, so he doesn't have that many counters to good roundhouse. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh good walk this, up. This wa he said, I don't believe you. He's walked the all the way The confidence is real. <laughs> the confidence is confirmed high. And so now, Zepke coming out early. Watch it needs to stop, start blocking after the crouch, crouch, uh, crouch meme kick. Yeah. Uh, he keeps eating fireballs unnecessarily. I mean, that's only 60 damage, but it is quite a bit. He also does, like, this, this, the main problem that I'm noticing right now with Watson is he's standing, like, at the right range for, for you to, like, bait step kick. But instead of baiting it, like, he just stands there. He doesn't do a counter hit or anything. Yeah. Like, Yun just does stay in medium punch whenever he thinks Robbie's yeah. going to step kick. And then he can just confirm it. And then he gets a DP off of it. Yep, he can confirm it with the DP. And then Soccer confirm with a stand light kick, stand light punch. Yeah, he could, she could probably even do, like, crush fierce or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah even if you want to get really freaky with it. Absolutely. Yeah, and that, that would be, like, a third of that would be a third of Ken's bar off of one mistake. Yeah. There's a flower kick really te really telegraphed overhead. Wow, he needs to stop focusing. Yeah, Watson's in trouble. Oh, uh, we definitely see him take quite a bit of damage this round specifically just by focusing. But I like him getting as much music as he can. Yeah. Probably be just putting an end to that, but Watson's getting like about half a bar. Yeah. So that's uh, not bad. That's about that's about how well that match was about, about to go anyway. Watson couldn't really do anything without wasting a bar. Oh. That was not a whiff on it, that was actually Watson Chan not blocking. So there's a throw, grabbing the crouching short from Ken. He was probably just re he was probably just reading for another car grab. Absolutely. Good block there from Watson Chan, like him just Ooh, blocking. Full combo. Gonna, okay, I was expecting a, a DP, but Watson plays wow. too patiently for that kind of thing. Big combo. Drops, Drops the combo. it, gets the DP. Big damage. And, okay, if he F A D C'd that, that probably would have been dead. Yeah. The only thing Watson Chan could do here is either that and the EX Tatsu. That's what he needs to do. Stand down the EX Tatsu crouch. Stand like he's the EX Tatsu either. He needs to be doing. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, okay. Watson Chan taking the loss here. Yeah. Watson. Just going with that Hail Mary for that Air Tatsu. RV taking it 2-0. Mason gone. Yep. Yep, up next in the stream of Mason God and full Mason God with a performance. Memeson God. That is, he's been doing some good stuff. Taking yeah, he, out, uh, playing really well. Taking out players such as Cups and, uh, you know, showing off that he is not one to be simply discarded. That's for sure. Took him fucking long enough. Yeah, I was like, I would either scroll it or make it smaller. <laughs> Memes are coming out strong here from Mason God's side. The dank mammies. There we go. So we have a uh, full bleed, of course, wrapping that Blanca of his. I would be really surprised to see anything else. I don't think I've ever seen him play in this game. No, no, you ain't, you ain't seen full buds pocket misfortune in this game. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty solid. But uh, Mason God, he actually has quite a, other quite a few other characters in his arsenal. However, Ryu seems to be his tried and true for right now. Yeah, his Adon's is pretty fraudulent, not going to lie. Yep. All of his other characters are fraudulent, not going to lie. main reason I know is because we, pl we played in tournament. And, he, and when he played me as it on, I beat his ass, but, uh, Rip. you know. And then he swapped to Ryu and killed my ass, but that's not part of the story. <laughs> and so, uh, Mason God ripping yes, that Ryu. Yes, Hell Farte, that is indeed Charlie. He and did make it out, so you need to get your ass out here and yeah. put some hack on. Yeah. And so, uh. Yeah, Senbei calls you a fag boy. Oh, I'll be back from work. Blah, blah, blah. Going to work, being a big man. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah I know, right? Minutes. Or yeah. Baby. Alright. Yeah, he's not even we and him have played in winners finals and that stuff, so And so uh <laughs> full bleed the thing is about this matchup, Mason hey, Charlie Charlie, how long are you staying here? Okay, cool. 
Hellforte wants to get some matches. So. Hellforte wants to get Hakan knowledge. And anyway, so on the match here, we have uh, Mason nice. God. And You're the thing nice about this match ass. is a lot different than a lot of other matchups. It's a completely yeah, it's like, different right, dynamic. <laughs> the thing is, is that Mason God is not quite used to the uh, different matchups that Ryu can encounter. So, uh, okay, so back to the match. That's going to be a little different here for uh, Mason Good God. sweep from Mason God. No whiff punish, man. Fully just lets those things rip and nobody does anything about it. At least he got the EX Fireball out of it. Yeah. Wow, got the counter hit. No crumples. Just Tatsu is like a man. Wow. Mason God. Not showing any fear at all. Wow. DP. Good DP. No fear. I know, right? Yeah, I know, right? Mason God showing his I mean, mark. You basically just told, you basically told Mason <laughs> in OG chat to just be like, fuck everybody, disrespect their ass. And, and, now, it's, and it's fucking working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so Mason guy coming out strong here. Oh, that's a good, uh, good whiff punish there from uh, Fulby getting that folk stack. <laughs> <laughs> good jump in. Oh, drops, drops the combo. combo. That's okay though. He, uh, he's probably gonna lose around anyway. So. That's, yep. It's good to have your drops whenever you're gonna lose anyway. It's not Man, gonna run trap, That frame trap is too real with Stand that fucking. Stand and uh, close or this fierce. Fierce. That is disgusting. Fierce is so fucking crazy. Yep. It's Minus five, five on block really though. Keep that in mind. However, I mean, of course, not only Usually characters. Usually spaced out. To where it's exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like a Kuma sweep. Minus nine. Well, doesn't really matter if you can't even get to it. Yeah. Uh. Good ant here, I guess. The crouching medium <laughs> punch, but it worked. But I would like to see probably a DP ant here coming out from Mason God. Good sweep. That was perfectly spaced. Man, that was amazing. Rainbow ball. The gimmicks. The gimmicks. If it's not if it's not EX and if it's not reversal, you can focus it. But Chris Cunningham, knowing that, giving him EX only. Man, Fulby just needs to go nuts. Like, I think Mason God does not know the Blanca craziness. Yeah, like, I think a full beat's problem with why he loses a lot is because he's too willing to just sit there and play footsies when he has all the crazy ass like he has them too blanca hop shit but he'll yeah, show you only just the, play footsies yeah. all day and like, the thing is about full bleed he is a footsie player he will win day in and day out with footsies however whenever you can't when it, and whenever however when you can't win with footsies sometimes you have to just go with some shenanigans yeah I mean, it's I mean, it's Blanca, so it's not like you don't play the perfect character for shenanigans. No, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'd be surpri I'm surprised too that Mason's doing this well. However, that is a good thing for sure. Chris is still playing his game, and he's playing well, and yeah, Mason God just showing... He's adjusting his spacing a little better. Yeah. And so Mason God needs tech throw. throws and needs anti air. That's the two things he needs to be Pop. doing. What would set up here for full bleed? Good cross up, not maximum damage by any means. However, he does get the full combo. Wow, that, that is improperly spaced fireball. Fulby can use that uh, down forward hard run. punch. Yeah, the river run. Too wide underneath that. Ooh. Fireball up close. Ooh, the Man. sweep is properly uh, yeah. baited by Fulby and properly deployed upon this. Wow. Wow. He does not up. care. Very smart. He, he made said. A, he made a very good adjustment on his yeah. horses. He's like, hey, you. He stays right out of sweep range, and that's basically where Ryu you can actually be effective. Them. Yeah. Because if you're just outside that, because, uh, of course, uh, what's up, Toby? What's up, Toby? Of course, uh, you know, Blanket having, there's the same mix-up again. Mason God needs to recognize it. That's going to uh, be... In a super, that does a billion damage. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Blanca. Yeah, you right, you right. <laughs> wow. Oh, damn, that's the a stun. stun. That's it. Full bleed puts one up on the board. So what I like to see from uh, Mason God is to get in that footsie range. And so, fully, the thing is, as you said, he's standing right outside sweep range. And why is that? Well, because uh, he has the stand fierce, the crouch fierce, and his river run. Yeah. What, what does Ryu have? Fireball. Yeah. And he, yeah, and exactly. Like, if he gets a read on a fireball, it's immediately river run. Absolutely. And then he gets put into a mix-up. Mm -hmm. And from that range, he also can do safe river runs, which is even crazier. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's like, it's like a, it's just an amazing move. I mean, it's not fantastic or anything, but... If used properly, it could be a really good surgical knife to simply cut your opponent's gameplay in half. I mean, you have to respect the river run. It, he can punish every fireball. I want to see yeah. Mason get that uh, Eye of the Tiger, though. He's kind of chatting up, getting a little chummy, but... Uh, I don't think I don't think I've actually been ever able to successfully counter hit uh, river run. Yeah, no. Like, it pretty much beats out everything I've ever done whenever I play full bleed. 
So now you see some fireballs from Mason, a little close. That's what I like to see. Okay. Wow, there's a punish. Good. Weaving in and out like he should. No, no, no anteers. Yep, that was gonna be the issue here for Mason God so far. Yeah. Uh, that was a fraudulent <laughs> FADC. Didn't quite mean to get it. I assume that was probably Blanca Ball. However, Mason God punishing fully. Uh, stand jab for him full weekend mode. Man, that stand fierce. Super fast. Yeah, it's super fast. It's got a slightly bigger hitbox than you think it would. Yeah, it, absolutely. It extends like just a little bit past the fingers, so he doesn't even have to hit you with his hands. It's like a really good Just move. his mind. Yeah. <laughs> and so now you see the same exact setup. There we go, the block there for Mason God, finally. No jab and electricity from Fulby. There's a river run, river run leading. Back in. He noticed that Fulby did nothing, and then he just river run whenever yeah. Mason God fireballed. So it's, it seemed like uh, Fulby with that read. Yeah. And so Mason Guy getting thrown again. All and right, hot mix up. No. Same thing. It's the same but thing. however, uh, Mason got taking full advantage of that DP of his own. Yeah. Wow, that was okay. sweet. With punish, uh, stand fierce. Wow, good. Good sweep. Sweep. That was amazing. Yeah, full bleed starting. It looks like full bleed starting back on the pressure. Yeah. He's just like barely off on all of his normals. Yeah, and you see Mason got with punishing that river run. Of course, you can get a little better punish than that. Wow. Mason got with some fantastic sweeps. There's the, Here's the craziness. Let's see if Fulby can get the craziness going. Uh, Throw into the corner. DP again. Good DP bait. That's exactly what it was. Oh, that was Oh, crazy. wow. That's big damage. Uh -oh. Wow, he just mashes DP. That's good because next mix-up would have been... Would have been stunned, for sure. Or yeah, been, it would have been game for full bleed, I think. No matter what. So now we see a full super coming from full bleed. That's going to be big damage on any confirm he can get. Blank of all the super is not too hard and does quite a bit of damage. No yeah, punish. he's looking for it. These are safe Blank of balls. However, you need to get space while he does them. That's the whole point. So dash forward and then do whatever you need to do. Whoa, good good punish there from full bleed. I'd probably like to see a river run instead, but that's some Mason, good stuff. Mason's looking like he's in panic mode. Yeah, I agree. Wow. Yeah, there we go. He's, start, he's finally starting to do what we were talking about earlier, and that the now shenanigans. That, now that there's no, there's not he's enough time for Mason God to, uh, yeah, to adjust it all to any Blanca gimmicks. Now he's finally letting them loose. Yeah. Now the Blanca, the online Blanca is real. Yeah. And which they need to be using. That is an ultra. If you're standing a little bit closer, that is an ultra one. Yep. Absolutely. Ultra one will punish Blanca balls. Wow. Good, good anteer. So if he blocks one more, Mason's gonna have to do something. Oh man! Wow. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff from both players. All, all that can really be said about that matchup okay. was full beat adjusted to the footsies. And yeah. He took that it. was a close match though. That was a very close match. Really, really good stuff to Mason Gun. Mason showing some fantastic footsies today. The only thing I can really say I don't like him using EX Fireball so much, but uh, I mean, what can you do? Yeah. I mean, I can't really, I can't really argue with a footsie performance like that. Up next we have Red CEO and Robbie VQ. Go and introduce these two guys. The classic match. Robbie Bota probably gonna, honestly probably gonna stick with Chun. Probably gonna at least try to try to go with Chun and see how the River Lanto matchup works out. Unless, well I did see, uh, Red CEO was playing Rolento earlier in tournament, right? Yeah. So he might, he might actually try to go for that and see, and see how well that works out. Because I think I think Robbie start starting to finally get on to Red CEO's Rolento game. The only reason I use Ryu against me is because uh, he knows the Seth matchup a little better with Ryu, and I've been using Seth against him pretty much exclusively for the past two months. Yeah. I mean, it works against him. To be fair, it's kind of mean, but I mean, the thing is, is that Whatever, it's a tournament. It doesn't it's, matter. Yeah, it doesn't tournament. And not mean. to mention, he was my main character for like three years straight. Yeah. So I do know. I mean, it's not like I'm using just some fraudulent side character just to beat yeah. him. I mean, it, he was my main. So, I switched to Akuma in uh, AE 2012. Yeah. Actually, it was AE regular, and I didn't get a decent Akuma until at least AE 2012. Mason. 
So we have Robbie V and Red CEO. Again, these two guys, we see the one toe probably coming out from Red CEO. I could not imagine anything otherwise. Wow, never mind. We're seeing the Shoto matchup here cool. from Red CEO. Yeah. I, fig I figured Ryan would probably try to go for that. I don't know, dude. I just, hmm. He has so much better knowledge with his, uh, with his Momento. And not to mention that Red CEO's Ryu is good. It may be very good. However, it's not going to be Robbie, in my opinion. I yeah. don't think it's solid enough to be Robbie's. Exactly. That's my point. Robbie knows the Ryu matchup. Every player knows the Ryu matchup. Yeah. Can you be better than the average Ryu that Robbie's played? Probably not. Or at least that he can be. How about that? And so the thing is, is that Red CEO, though, maybe proving us wrong early here. Good mix of oh, a stun. Oh, shit. A stun. Wow. Jump hard kicks. Oh, drops his combo. Going for the hard stuff. Again, I do not <laughs> the like The gimmicks. Go, the gimmicks. I don't like to see him go for the hard stuff, though. I want to see him just go, you know. Yeah. And he gets a stun. Jump fierce, stand fierce, DP. You know, instant damage. Red fireball there, getting a little extra damage. Wow. Good, good frame traps. Yeah, absolutely. DP? Yeah. Okay. DP versus Real DP. Quick, shout out to everybody in the chat. DFS Nobody, Hellfarte, Wraith, Spooky Wraith, Pleat Pants, and Young Alan Jackson. I love you all. Pants. Except you, Hellfarte, you suck and I hate you. Yep. You're a big ding. You're a big ding. <laughs> wow, Fireball coming out from Messi up close. I do like that a lot. It, it stops a lot of uh, Ken's options, like, you know, the overhead, the, the, um, the car throw, the crash and punch. Probably stuffs everything out, right? Yeah. I mean, clean. Except for focus. That's oh, the only thing, oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, of course, can Robbie V make the adjustment? Oh, that's not going to work. However, no punish from Robbie V. What's the combo? Full combo into Ultra. I like him altering early. This is going to give him nice damage. Oh, he gets the, the counter hit. Yeah, the counter hit made it a little, uh, little awkward. Yeah. Red Seal loves his sweep. I will tell you that. After playing him in uh, casuals today, he swept a lot more than I thought he would. Yeah, he's a fan. However, if he uses it right like he did, I don't really mind too much. Ooh, they're not going to combo again. Ken not having that fast EX Fireball for you. Is EX Fireball again? Made him use two bars. Uh, that was so fragile. Missed, missed a neutral jump. <laughs> wow. Good, Good stuff. Yep. See, that's the Fireball we were talking about Red CEO using. Now with Robbie V. That close range, just in your face Fireball. I love it a lot. The only way to beat it is by jabbing it or by uh, focusing it, really. So now we see the setup. Good bait from Red CEO. What's the thing? Makes another DP. Yeah, Bad just, punish, though. Yeah, no real punish. Oh, it still another gets a stun. stun. There's going to wow. be quite a bit of scaling on it. Let's go for a basic oh, I combo. I was expecting a super. Uh, super wouldn't scale way too much. Oh, yeah, he can confirm true. into it pretty easily. So yeah, I like, can just do, like, crash medium kick, right? Absolutely. Oh, crash medium kick, fireball. That was actually super right there. Um, and so now we see we want to see Red CEO poking that crashing medium kick. He's just getting stuffed by Thunder Kick right now. Actually, now he's in chip right, damage bro. range. I'd definitely go for that super. It's plus five on... Wow. The super is yeah, plus five on block. So, I mean, it's one of those moves. You can just, like, if you're really... Like, for example, Robbie's current health, you could just throw it out. Like, if you're close, to crash me and kick super. Yeah. Just do it. I mean, it's plus five on block anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's true. What? Are you ready? So now we see the cross up from Red Seal. Dude, his setups have been on point. Robbie has not blocked a single one of them, it seems like. Wow, stuffs the DP. I want to see a basic combo here from Red Seal. Drops the combo. Again, he does not have those combos. And now we see him, again, just jump fierce, stand fierce, DP. Basic damage. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Wow, crush two. medium punch, crush medium punch. Real hard. Rex. Don't I know about it. Two frames. Two frames. Four frame move that's plus five on you hit. you give me a dollar if I can do it first time? I'll give you a dollar that's two frames on okay. it. Oh, it's a two frame wait. Oh, okay. Rip. Alright, I will I will legit, like, like after this tournament is over, I will legit do the dollar bet thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, right. so uh, here anyway, you Red Mason, CEO, taking a fucking the coward, backing out both of this bet already. <laughs> both these players with tons Bitch of meter. Me. And that's going to be really interesting here. We, of course, having the better way to convert his meter into uh, Ultra, as Robbie V is using Ultra too, but however, that's going to limit Red CEO's fireball options, but if he gets another stun, it's not going to matter too much. Okay. No DP from Red CEO. We've got an EXDP to make maximum damage set up from Robbie V over the top in the, the front. Empty jump. Try to get maximum stun. What's the... Oh, oh my god. Ultra. Says, Stuff. I don't care. That's exactly what he says. He says, I, mean, I don't care. Yeah. If, if anything, if Robbie did anything, it would have killed him. 
Oh, oh, wow! Very smart. On hit and goes Red for the. Red CEO puts it up. Again, Red CEO not having those combos and realizing it, he goes for the throw. I like that a lot. However, it was risky. If you have those links, just go for the links. However, he recognized that mid combo and went for the uh, throw instead. Yeah. At the very least, he had a round of spare still. Absolutely. So worst comes to worst, if he just fucked up, it, fucked it up. It keeps. It puts the. It puts the idea in Robbie's head. Yep. That. Oh, I hit you. Hit you. And so here's the total troll coming from Robbie V. Yeah. He does this all the time. Oh, yes, the Dalsim. I want to see. Oh, the hard counter. Let's fucking go. Back to Ken. I <laughs> like seeing that from right. Robbie V. <laughs> However, he's not choosing Chun. Chun, I think, is a pretty good Ryu, to, Ryu counter. Is she not? Uh, Fairly. Yeah. According to Charlie, and Charlie's never. She's wrong. the worst. Charlie confirmed best Street Fighter player. Yeah. Yeah, where do you? I bought Ding, dude. Drive all the way down. I live farther than he does. You live, yeah, yep. you live next to NDP. Yeah. Oh, I don't live next to NDP. I live like about like five minutes away from it. Fifteen. Rip. Fifteen. It's about. Oh, okay. I have to drive on like thirty-five hour country roads. Yeah. Quite live with a one-lane wooded bridge on it. it must be Rip. hard being so damn rich, huh? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> nah, dog. Our roads suck. Anyway, on to the match. We have uh, Ryu with a uh, full. With some ultra to work with, and that's something that you can convert meterless into. However, not as easily as some other characters like Ball Rock. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, Kate that would have got me Robbie too. V. Yep. Hey man, I got the other in my stick bag. If you want, I'm 100% serious. Oh, it's the black one. <laughs> Correct. Okay, yeah. And so, was, oh wow, that DP was definitely a fireball. No, now no, we no, see no. Uh, Red CEO. Giving that fireball pressure again. Robbie V not having that ultra two yet. That's gonna be what he wants to do. Get that free damage while he can. The foot jump in front, not getting believed by Robbie V going for the throw. Step kick, overhead. What's next, Robbie V? Step kick, throw. Gets, gets uh, jabbed up by Red CEO. Base DP. Frame trap not gonna work out. Red CEO gonna counter it. Full, full okay, punish. punish. I like that. Yeah, that was a full punish. Game wants to get the corner carry. What's the setup in the back? Robbie V not believing. Throwing right again. Back in the corner. Good. Sweet counter it confirmed. Okay. That was counter it timing. Oh, no, that's uh, not going to work. And he lost the lead right right after. Wow. DP'd he could have could EXDP'd after that, but it won't matter too much. Robbie V taking that. That was really good stuff. The Red CEO getting a couple of stuns. However, Robbie V not believing those setups and going for those. Uh, yeah, Red CEO was stun city that, that, that set. Yeah, it will be you in full bleed. Uh, up. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Loser semis, yeah. Who knocked Robbie out? Uh, it was Charlie. Oh, okay. This man right behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. You got a little bit of ice cream. Yeah, dude. dude. Oh, yeah, that's Robbie hot. Now. That turns me on. That turns me on. I don't know where it's at. You got it. Peanut butter. Uh, Meme cake. No. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Shout outs to peanut butter cheesecake. Milkshakes. Only available at Sonic. They're godlike as hell. I think I think Robbie probably won because he swapped to his cowboy alt. Yep, up next we have Full Bleed and Robbie V. Robbie V, of course, rocking that same Ken I could imagine. If not, he's using Chun Lee, that's a guarantee. And then uh, we have Baja Boys, Full Bleed. Of course, that Blanca. Full Ken, butt? Full butt, as we like to call him. Lovingly, of course. Full meme. Is he's not butt. He definitely is not butt. He is a great he's player. Out. And I always like to see him come out to the shop. That looked at Robbie V sticking to the Ken. I want to see him use Ultra 2 here. Thank you very much. Ultra 2, of course, going to punish those Blanca balls on block. Uh, of course, Chris gonna have a hard time getting those safe Blanca balls on Ken. However, looks like Ken uh, getting opting for that ultra too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, press E for me real quick. Yeah. Okay. I, I did not. I did the wrong one. There you go. Oh, whoops. Full bleed. It's yeah, do that. Cold. Ah, oh, you fucked it up. Full bleed. Wrecked. Anyway, on the mat. 
Right now they're just kind of feeling each other out. Yeah, absolutely. And so now we see uh, Robbie V going for the car. They're a little late, a little far away. Uh, full punish. I like that. That was sweet. Recognizing you get the close hand hard kick in the DP. Okay. Focus slap. Misses the combo. Yeah, of course, it's a three frame. That flip kick, you would think it would be really slow, but it's three frames. It's crazy. Yeah, that's really good. It actually has an anti hurt box or hitbox as well, but that's for another day. <laughs> On to uh, this match. We have the Sting Light Punches coming out from full, but of course, using those fast buttons to try to out footsie Robbie V. So Robbie V going with the DP combo, going to oh. miss it. Full punish. Full punish. Sweet punish. Just going to put it right back in the game. Wow, yeah. big damage from that ultra. What is Robbie V going to do? Blocks into a Kara throw. throw. What's next? Next up wins. That you cannot, okay. you cannot bait out that. That thing will auto correct 100% every time. Yeah, because it's up down, right? Up down. It will auto. And the thing is, it's like DJ. Yeah, so not like flash kick. Un very un unlike flash kick. It's it's just like you can't you can't bait it. Yeah. Simple as that. Too good of a reversal. As an as an anti air for setups, excuse me, it's not that great reversal. Car grab, car grab yeah. again. What is we're gonna see from Fulby? What's the answer? Nothing. As well as Robbie V baiting it out. Okay, so wow, Tatsu, oh. that was pretty. That was pretty interesting. Handy. Third strike stuff coming Good out from bro. Robbie V. If this was There's Street Fighter reversal. Five, he'd be stunned by now. Absolutely, that'd be one dead. Uh, that'd be a dead ass green man. Yeah. So what do we see here from Robbie V? Wow, the DP answer. No, Alex isn't leaving. That was sweet. Yeah, no, he's not leaving. <laughs> me and me and Watson are riding with him. It's already 11:30. Oh my god. He's up to the first right, in the hype match. Right, he's kind of an asshole. <laughs> There's no way we're gonna do the hype match tonight, dude. It's 11:30. Yeah. We. Yeah, that's fine. That is super late. It's gonna start at like 12:30. Oh no. 12.30. And it's going to go to like 2 o'clock. What are you guys, old man? Oh, yeah, I know, but dang, dude. Jeez. Got a curfew or some shit? Wrecked. <laughs> 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 Jesus no, Christ. Oh, Nick does. I rode with him. Yeah. Anyway, on to the match. Uh, Robbie V taking that last round. And so full bleed with the meter advantage for sure. Ken, though, with the ultra stocked, good focus attack. And uh, with punish that standing fierce. Jabs coming up from full bleed, trying to... Uh, jab check all of Ken's pressure, that step kick, forward medium kick, anything he has. Both of them trying to scare each other right now with focus. Absolutely, the focus chicken is going to be real. However, full is going to win that 100% of the time. Even Akuma cannot win it with his uh, backwards kind of facing focus attack. Good focus attack. Yep, and there is. And again, just also, that is the mantra I always tell people, and yet they seem to not follow it. However, Robbie B do, uh, does follow here and getting some pretty good damage for his troubles. And so now we see Fulby trying to get the corner of the rainbow out. ball. Yep, that was good stuff from you can't really do anything about it. I mean you yeah. can't you can't stand far enough back to really put it back in the corner. Good, whoa, good forward. Kick. That would beat the Blanca ball straight. That was sweet. The thing is about Blanca players they do the uh, a kind of lighter version of it to land in front of you. And the thing is you're like, okay, what do I do about it? Well you can just jab him out, or in that case, low forward him out of the uh, Blanca ball. Yeah. And uh, that'll just stop him on the way in. And so now we see Full Bleed taking some damage here in the early game with the chip damage fireballs. Counter it crashing me, but nothing confirmed off of it. Jump forward for okay. Robbie V. Now he's in the corner, unfortunately. So now he's, now he's in a really big con and a really bad situation for him because Absolutely. Robbie, Robbie really is really good at working the corner. Absolutely. And you see with the Thunder Kicks, however, he got a little too frisky with it and Full Bleed getting himself out of the corner. That's some pretty big stuff here, Blanca. But puts uh, himself back yeah. in the corner. Robbie be pushing him towards the court that step kick as fast as he can. There you're gonna probably see no step here any second now. Mm. No, the thunder kick. He's looking for that counter hit damage because it does like 200 fucking counter hit damage. Yeah, that was the medium kick one though. It doesn't do as much. Only 70 I believe on hit. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, no, like thunder kick though. It does, uh, I think it's 120 on the encounter. It's like 150 or whatever. It's a crazy amount of damage. Wow, okay, back dashes there. Good stuff from Foldy. That crowd fears. Long range poke. Nothing you really can do about it either. The yeah, throw. Pops shenanigans. Let's go. You have to late tech that. You have to late tech that. Uh, you have to late tech that super late. Wow, that oh, was a Blanca. Man, that was tricky. Uh, drops his combo though. That was a three frame link and he dropped it. So that's going to hurt him here. Okay, the throw coming here. You have to the take old, that really late. The old hop throw. Oh man. Nice DP. You have to see that coming. That's full bleed. You have to. Robbie V had, was backed into a corner and you made him shoot. That's kind of simple as that. I, I wanted to see a bait there from full bleed. The hop would have worked perfectly, or a back dash, or simply a block instead. I think the DP would have chipped him out anyway. Yep. Go 
goes for the basic punish. Ooh, that's going to catch him grounded. He's just going to get tons of damage out of that. And so now we see full bleed with a right in the collar car grab again. Once again, no. But the thing about full bleed having no meter though, he has no reversals. And Robbie B realizing this going a little ham bone. Whoa. Oh no, there he has a go. bar though, and he's in the corner. That's big oh, look, punish. That ought to be the. Oh, he he did it too late. And that's gonna be a big punish here for Robbie that's B. It. That's it. Yeah. Looks like we'll be in charge of that. So good stuff from both players. Mostly, I think full bleed got outplayed in the pussy department, and he couldn't really he couldn't really deal with step kick. Like, the, in the earlier matches, Robbie V was just really letting him loose with step kick, but he just wasn't doing anything to capitalize on it, like, even when they would whip. Good stuff, Robbie. Yeah, Chris, be careful, dude. I've been doing that, like, all day. So, uh, real quick public service announcement. Oh, hey, Brad's in here. What's up, Brad? Uh, if you can, dude, you should come out. I know Helfarte, like, just came out to leave real soon. Alright, we are now swapping to... We are now swapping to three out of fives. Because we are now in winner's finals. Uh. Alright, guys. Um, winner's finals coming up. Charlie Champ Chaston, if you're following along with the bracket tonight. Dog Vegas, I feel you too. Uh, I, I woke up today feeling like absolute butt. Because you can, because some stores carry it. What's up, Hell Fuerte? Yeah, that's probably where I got it then. Kyle Brockman, Wraith Vincent, Brad Wyman. Shout out oh, to nice you guys, nice. Matt Smith. That sucks, Brad. Dude, I woke up today feeling like ass too. I don't know what it is. I think it's like the atmosphere, because like the you know lightning and the shit. The dank atmosphere. The dank atmosphere. So, shout outs to Brad because Brad's gonna know what I'm talking about here. But Mason is actually a villain from Sailor Moon because that's all they do is steal people's energy. So shout outs to Brad. He 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 feels me on that. I'm basically uh, what's his name? Sailor Mask, right? That's his name, right? I forget. Oh, Tuxedo Mask. Fuck, I'm done. <laughs> All right, I mean it works out. <laughs> Peace out, Brad. I love you. <laughs> See, what Brad doesn't tell you is he loves. Thanks, Brad. I already went to 0 2 though, but Brad, thanks Brad, anyway, man. What, what Brad loves the stream so much that he actually has multiple accounts that are all subscribed to the stream. He just yeah. went through and unsubbed all of them. <laughs> yeah. Or un unfavorited. All right, so we got Fire Team versus uh, Top in the Shop first timer Charlie sitting here in winners finals. This is a three out of five set. This is going to be good for everybody. I'm excited to see this set. Excited to see how Fire Team is going to be able to adjust. Um, I'm actually not sure how well Fire Team is going to be. Well, how well rather. Charlie's going to be able to handle this because Fire Team actually does have a friend who is a very good uh, Hakan player, so he's very much onto oh, really? the shenanigans that Charlie has. That's I mean that's great because all right well anyway let's just get right to it. So Charlie representing a lot of focus dash forward and automatically good. in there starting that pressure. Oh good the tricks, SPD. dude! Yes. Oil up. I love this summer outfit right here. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Oh, that was one of those parry cancels, dude. Yeah. Wow, that was so crazy. He just stuffed Akuma mid and fire team grasping for straws here. Doesn't get oh, punished on yeah. it. Yeah, he should have just SPD'd that. Yeah, able to make some damage right here. Oh, no oil Hakan. So this is when fire team wants to go in. Whoa. 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 Going for the air. Careful. Drop. You can hear the hear the stick spinning. Alright, so fire scramble. team back in it. Charlie still with a slight life lead. Oh, he jumped. Jump. Yep. Yeah. Not gonna punish. be enough to kill though. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, he's dead. There you go. So like, I played against three really good Hakans in my short time in Street Fighter. ML Swear, Bobby, me, uh, Dirty Paws, Close Set, and Charlie. All of them are awesome, and the crazy thing is they all play Hakan very strong, very differently. So it's like, how fast are you going to be able to adjust to this guy's setups? Yeah. Like, Charlie, you know what Hakan can do. Charlie is a really big fan of doing, like, uh, like armor canceling all of it. Oh, yeah. Into a normal, because, like, uh, obviously it's a very good idea, and you get a full I'm not sure if that red focus was intentional. 
baiting them out right there, catching the back dash. And that far standing fierce buff, thank you, Ultra. Big damage, of course, unoiled Hakan. Fire team trying to go to work here. Yeah, Charlie's in trouble. El Dia de la Muerte with the skulls over the top. I want that one. Deaths. All right, so fire team is dead. Yeah, the, a really big issue that Charlie always has. All right, so fire team up one game. So, I mean, really, not a lot that Charlie did wrong in that set. He just ran yeah, into just Akuma. You know, yeah, <laughs> he just ran into Akuma. Yeah. So I like that he's pressing that offense early, and fire team being very passive, being very defensive, trying to wait for that oil to uh, run out so that he can get his now offense he gets, started. He gets the corner and the mix up. Interesting, Charlie choosing not to oil, oil in that situation. James Chen said that Hakan might be the best character in the game while he has oil, <laughs> but that was like circa. That was yeah, like circa was 2012. Yeah, I was like, that's also three years ago. Man, it really is, isn't it? All right, man. Lots of stars. Man, Stun City Fire Team's the fucking mayor. <laughs> okay, good combo. All right, what's Charlie got? Charlie gonna need about two more mix-ups. The should. first one. Oh, he oh, did it early. That's bad. Yeah. Okay. Enough. Uh, 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 yeah, normally you would think with the characters in the air as much as Akuma yeah, is, you would take I, that Ultra 2. But I don't know. He was, using, he was using Ultra 2 on me earlier when we were playing online yesterday. Well, I would, I would say, like, Charlie, does def he, he definitely believes in his setups, and he does believe he can hit that Ultra 1, so I, I, oh, yeah. I like it. Fire team not baiting on that. Get that was a little DP. too early. That can scoop DPs, right? It's like pretty much anything in the air? Yes. Okay. That's what I what? thought. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course, and if you want to defend that, you can just duck it. You can just hold down back. Yeah. Ooh. Well, no, actually, on uh, on restand. Oh, got him. The thing that's really tricky about Hakan that not everybody knows about is uh, the running grab. You have two frames where you're automatically standing, even mm -hmm. if you're holding down back. Right. So, the idea with the with the running grab that Hakan has is you can time it to where you can do it and catch him in those catch two magic in those, frames in those two standing frames i see so that makes sense. the only way the only way to beat that out is you have to do something like a reversal jab i see because when you do a reversal jab it'll automatically start you, you on the crouch. ground it'll, it'll automatically start you so the, the trick is to hit that reversal window though yeah oh, okay all right well charlie seems like he's kind of feeling his way a little bit through this akuma matchup a little bit gonna eat fire of course he takes extra damage for being oiled against fire damage no yeah. i wish this is not no. pokemon yeah hakan actually hakan actually is a fan of the vegetable oil vegetable oil the non -dynamic. he doesn't actually run like petroleum nope no. <laughs> Thanks no for that wonderful insight. <laughs> no sticks. No <laughs> sticks surface. With the, when the next fake moves. Peace out, Jeremy. Mer. I love you. Hand fisting. All right. So Charlie, guys, that corner right now. I, I like Oil how up. patient Charlie's being right now. Ooh, wow. That's it. If if Fire Smart Team would Charlie. have not done the demon grab right there, he would have been zero frames and been out of there. So Charlie gonna pick up the game. I think Fire Team a little like, all right, all right, all right you got one, you got one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so Charlie got that momentum right now. <laughs> All right, dude. He's trying to distract us from our professional streaming right now. Jeremy on with the Kickstarters for <laughs> fake boobs. Fake boobs. All right, so now Fire Team a lot more active in the air now. Representing that air fireball oh, a little okay. bit more, and I mean that's the thing is like oil rocket. That's a, that is the slide I, I assume. Ooh, back into yeah. the hitbox. Oil rocket is regular SPD. Oh, okay. I forget what running grab is called. Or the slide. The slide's not slide oil is, rocket? Slide is called press. It's oil slide press. Oh, okay. Right on. Hey, see you guys. Drive safe. What's up? Yeah, good stuff, dude. All right, nice DP from fire team. Yeah, it is uh, getting. It is 11:40 p.m. right now here in Central Time, and uh, a little bit of a late start tonight. So guys are starting to clear out. Yeah, all uh, these old men out here. We will have to do our hype match next week, but that's neither here nor there. As Fire Team going to work now, utilizing every button. So the real question here is, with the oh. hype match, are you gonna save those donuts? No, no, no. They're they're free. They're we'll hand them out tonight. Oh, sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> That's I love the donuts. real hard hitting question of this day. All right. And so fire team takes it with the first. Oh wait, no, it's three out of five. Yeah, it is three out of five. So uh, Charlie still has plenty of time to come back. But fire but team staring down grand finals right perfect. now. Both of those. Are I, I still I still like that Charlie's sticking with Ultra One, not willing to crack and go for the. I mean, but then again, though, Fire Team has done a very good job at applying solid offense in the air and on the ground too. Like his horizontal game has been very good. 
in addition to mixing Ooh, up. Good DP bait. Man, that's wow. a ton of damage. 85 seconds in. Look where Akuma's health is at. <laughs> oh, sends him right back with the perfect. My God. Sending a message? I got a message too. Yo, guy. the five letters matching fire team shirt down there. <laughs> perfect. All right. But here comes fire team Bro, now. Sending one right back. Womp womp. Send a message? Oh, cue the trap music. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. We're no out perfects. of we're out of danger here. And Akuma right back in the frying pan. Okay. Extra Crisco to cook with. Ooh, there's a big opportunity <laughs> big right scoops. there. So yeah, that fireball uh, had some nerf recovery frames on it with ulcers that may, may have assisted. For Charlie, that puts yep. them right, right even with each other again. <laughs> I'll get get him after this match, dude. FADC slide. Oh. Okay. I like Charlie's in and out, playing good footsies, good poke game right here. Ooh, good SPD. Up the That's it. Yep, Charlie, Charlie now 2-1. Charlie tying That's it cute. up. Man, this is very fast Street Fighter, man. Yeah. You would think like, you know, Akuma versus Grapplers, right? A lot of, let's stand full screen, throw a fireball, yeah, while the grappler wears through it, but the well, Hakan stand gets right in. work on Charlie because he'll just sit, he'll just chill in the back and do coward crouch. Right. Because it builds meter when he does run and grab coward crouch. Oh, right, right, right. So, once that happens, once he gets a bar and he just reads a fireball, he'll just yeah, slide through it. And then he gets, Akuma gets put into the vortex. Yeah, and then and that's and one thing as a Shoto, like you gotta respect when Akan has meter and he's able to get coast to coast on those fireballs too. So uh, yeah, that's that's awesome that you're able to do that. Also, I know you guys can't hear home on the stream, but Charlie very active on like like pounding those uh, buttons, yeah. and you can really get kind of caught up in listening to those buttons. Be like, wait, is that SPD? What is that? And then you yeah. just. Something comes out. It's not even. It's just necessarily as much as an intimidation habit, as much as it is just Charlie trying to deal with his own nerves. Oh, because sure. Charlie, Charlie has. Really Whoa! Is that gonna get it? Nerves. Wow! That was so sick. Charlie has really bad tournament nerves. Like, well, he's he's hanging hanging steady hanging steady now. Good SPD. Oh my Charlie. face right now. Good stuff by Charlie scooping that SPD up. Match point for Charlie. Let's go, fire team. Let's go. Chewing on his gum like a real man. He's got to, dude. Fire team's got to defend this house from Charlie right now, man. Whoa. This is his first top in the shop, looking up. to get in the grand finals. Man, okay. look how impressive this Akan is. Wow, it's caught him pressing a button right yeah, there. Yeah, just the Tatsu. X slides out. I like that. I like that use of meter. Gets right trip out. Trip guard. Trip guard with the forward roundhouse. Uh oh, drop by fire team. Rare miss. Oh, I was expecting a tick throw. Oh, no whiff punish there. That's okay. That's the button. We haven't really seen it that much. The fire team not believing it right there. EXDP. Send a message. Oh, oh yeah, that, no fly that zone. Oh, mashed out. What's what's fire team got? Oh, we got delayed wake up. He might have been trying to get up for push buttons quick. Got a chance here with damage with the reset over oh, the top. Shit. Teleport away. Oh man, Charlie is cracking. Not gonna be quite enough. Needs a little bit more. Akuma gonna, chip master. Wake up, DP. There it is. Oh no, he trapped him with the medium punch. Oh my god, oh, and Charlie no. takes it with the clutch. So we've seen time and time again, fire team jump in. Land the medium kick is blocked. Then he frame trap, and then he then he holds you and blocks them with the stand medium kick, and then DP chips. Charlie, oh, Charlie is lovable. Charlie as is ever. so goddamn lovable. So right kawaii. Now. Uh, okay, so with beautiful hair as always. Losers finals coming up next. Uh, myself and Fire Team. Good stuff, Charlie. I saw how big your wiener was. All right, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm Good stuff. All right, all right. I'm going to hand the mic off to Mr. Cups, well, and got uh, we got Losers Costco Finals coming up next up, here at Top of the Shop. You got that Costco pizza hookup, though. That's what's hey, up. Hey, guys, Cups is back here. What's up, baby Cups? Oh, nothing, man. Hanging out. Yeah. Just being salty. Me? Yeah, yeah. I kind of got over it, though. It's okay. Man. Never mind. No chance. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Catching up here. Okay, Raid's in here, Young Island Jackson. Let's see, you use your meter on the expired. Don't worry. He must have left some shit yeah. here. Yeah, it opens on the left, you dang. What'd you leave here? Oh, that's important. Is it these ones? 
I want to ask Robbie because I'm very sure. Ladies and gentlemen, the wildest fighters have assembled from around the world to join in the fight. But only one can declare. You might want to double check there, me. Okay, so now we got let's see, we got Fire Team and Robbie here in losers. This is the matchup okay. they play quite often here. Um, all right, so uh, gotta go back and fix this in. Yeah, I'm gonna fix, fix this before. Oh, I don't know. It was just something super simple. Huh? Robbie's Robbie opting to go with Vega. It's the battle of the century. Fight! He's out. I thought Boxy kicked Endgamer shit in a while back. He did. Yeah, he didn't. Uh, Boxy beat Endgamer two max sets ago. Yeah, because I remember. I remember Boxy talking about it. He was he just did. like, he, beat him. he was like, I just beat his ass. And I was so drunk. Yeah. I'm Boxy, Boxy off this way. Yeah. He's either drunk or he's either too drunk or not drunk enough, or uh, or he doesn't even play this game if he wins. Yeah. So it's insult to injury, or he doesn't even play this game when he loses. So you know. Right. Boxy, the ultimate scumbag. <laughs> shout out the to ultimate Boxy. Shout out to Boxy, we the ultimate him. lovable scumbag. Okay, so I mean, I guess we're gonna see. I don't know what we, we've seen. Quite a bit of character switching between these two. Oh, the past I got few you. Weeks. Chun, Akuma, yeah, Evil man, Ryu, they're, Seth. They're like, okay, they're going classic right now, but I, they're just cycling if, through the roster. Depends right on now. how if if Fire Team is dominant in this or not, or you know if if Robbie's because sometimes Robbie's got the read on his Akuma, but most of the yeah. time it's pretty much a Fire Team's favorite in this matchup, and sometimes he, he switches to the Chun. So, yeah. In my opinion, I probably I probably would have went with Chun if I was Robbie, just because I could use. I can use footsie tools better to see how he'll play footsies yeah, in the matchup. Sure. Yeah, sure. And that way I won't give away more Ken technology that I have than what Fire Team already knows. Mm, yeah. Okay, that's a good call, DFS nobody. We didn't know that. Okay, we weren't around back then. We weren't even born yet, dog. Good block, good bait by uh, Fire Team. This is kind of what we were talking about earlier. Like, Robbie's like, I don't believe it, I don't believe it, I don't believe it kind of thing. Yeah. And then he, uh, I think Fire DP. I think Fire Team's really on, on top of that, on that match. Yeah. He's doing a lot of crazy stuff right now. Okay. He's doing a lot of stuff that I don't really ever see him do. Yeah. Good car up there, right? Grab. You want to get those going early on. Make the frame traps come alive. Yeah, Fire Team's chewing on his nose, on his nails, man. Nervous habit, bad habit. He's not like that. I don't know what he's doing with the headphones today. I've never seen him. I don't know, man. Maybe he got a sponsorship with Audio Technica. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Speaking of Audio Technica, go ahead and use your promo code <laughs> What's ba it? Baja Boys for 10% off your next purchase oh, on, on the Audio Technica website. And that's, uh, that's pretty that's a pretty standard stun. block there. Let's see what he's got here? Okay. Simple combo, reset the situation, put yeah. it in neutral. I'll teleport out. I think Cody needs to teleport, man. <laughs> Cody really needs a command grab. Yeah, he, he, really, he really lacks that the offensive. Well, that would really be it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know. All characters should get a command grab, but anybody who's not a grappler should have like a really shitty one. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'd do a kit, man. Can you imagine Cody with like <laughs> Makoto's command throw? That'd be fucking That'd be nuts. so stupid. Yeah. So Robbie is looking to maybe switch sticks. Oh, maybe use the bathroom. Robbie making a quick dash. Oh, man. Probably taking a mad poop. Yeah. Maybe he should just always play like that so we can so we can win. Yeah. Just on the edge of his seat at all times. Really high stress. Maybe got a quick gulp of water or something like that. Not sure. Maybe. It's really dry in here. I, I drank quite a bit of water today. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to buy like a drink or something after I finish this thing. Yeah, I think those suckers will dry out. It's like even harder when like the straw sucks. So like it just doesn't yeah, work, work really hard. Yeah. yeah. Right. Fire team is still playing Charlie right now. Good observation yeah. from Vegas. I, I agree on that. Yeah. That's kind of I don't know. Tail of the tape today. Good maybe. punish on that fireball. Throw. Put it in the mix up. Okay. With with some ball. Walk up throw. What's up, Kyle? Kyle. Uh, Hell Fuerte Brocken. Good. This way cancel arriving. Robbie. On the scene. Nice, dude. 
pretty red, dog. What's up, Thor? Robbie making a count, man. He's up, just kind of coming out strong against Fire Team. Oh shit! This mic is fucked up. Oh. It was like that. Top of the off, stunned by yeah. Robbie, and just a really, very, a really right strong now. performance. I don't know what Fire Team's saying, but man, he's uh, he needs to come up with something. Could Maybe you, go uh, back to characters. Could you go like, back to character select. Could you like uh, mute my micro pick so I can like slap this thing down? Not too. Sorry everybody if you did hear that. I tried to mic the, uh, mute the microphone here. Yeah, I had Robbie to, going up 2-0. This this mic is getting all 2 0 and never looking back, looks like. What's up, Thor? Uh, you got a Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Go live. Did you even hear that, Brad? We just muted the mics for a second. Yeah, I think he said that. He still heard it. Okay. All right. Well, let's kind of focus on what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kara focus presence there by uh, All right. by Robbie so, Ken. They're just kind of chucking plasma right now, staying at the neutral game. We can big punish here. Ooh, it. that's not like yeah. fire team man. He is having some issues today. Oh well, good for Robbie on uh, good on Robbie for making him punish for it. He's not giving up these opportunities right now. Yeah, fire team Sweet. is fire team is really on tilt from playing Charlie. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with good reason. That that character just like it just starts something else in you when you play against yeah, that kind it of does, character. Dude, I don't know. I've never played a Hakan in Tony yet, so I was very interested in playing Charlie. Um, Charlie if I get a chance here later on. Yeah. Good. Okay. Picking up his might combos be, again. Yeah, might be very good. Too. Chuck plasma. Yeah, Counter hitting. Yeah. I can't really get anything off of that, but it's okay. Be like getting a fake step kick or and then going to DP or something. Good, good whip punish there. Not a whip punish. Good I actually think it, that was it right there, and then fire team counter hit him out of it. Yeah. Okay. It's the Tatsu trade in the air, and Robbie is sitting on a 3 0 sweep of Mr. Fire Team. Okay, this down's behind It's a good call, Wraith. He, uh, I mean, Akuma is a fantastic Goni character, and, and Fire Team doesn't really use it like that. You kind of yeah. see that a lot in Street Fighter, though. It's like, People are, uh, you know, there's things that the characters do well, and then they're gonna say, they, a yeah, lot they of people just like, like to play their own. Way. Yeah, this is my style. Yeah. Like, this is who I am. So, you know, and that's, I don't know. That's what it's really. That's what Street Fighter is like, really about. It's like fighting. Yeah. Your urge to do dumb stuff. That is quote you. Yeah, and I mean, in reality, that's how. Uh that's how Daigo plays. Like, oh yeah. Like he said in interviews all the time, was yeah. like, I make it a point to not have a style of play. Fire team goes I just play down. as clean as yeah. possible. Fantastic play from Robbie. They're making a count. It's gonna be a. Uh, yeah, fire team's probably pretty salty about yeah. that. And fire team goes down for you. That's gonna be a, a long car ride home for us tonight. Mason took me out today, so that's really good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Uh, Charlie uh, won. Yeah, Charlie. Man, I can't even see that name. Yeah, it's, they're, it's playing really strong. It's good. Can't up there. Let's get started! Fight! Oh, it looks like we're still streaming. So I don't know. Uh, close it out. No, 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 not the tab, just that. This here? Yeah. Okay. Because we were having a lot of problems with that earlier, where, like, it was just taking forever to load, so after I refreshed it a couple times, it Should I just, like, it just refresh it? I shouldn't redo it. Yeah, you could try an F5. You could try an F5. Robbie needs to clear out his inbox. He has 14. Oh, wow. God. It's 1,474 uh, right now. Um, this is not Grand Finals. This is the bracket reset here, and I can't fix this either. Oh, well, can't maybe. Preview editing. Yeah. Okay, let's fix this. Robbie's staying where he is. Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the losers. Oh, yeah. Losers portion. This is going to be Grand Finals, and Robbie has to win six matches to bring it back. But it looks like at the end of their set last time, Robbie had a pretty good read on him. 
Like he was fighting back, but yeah. uh, Charlie was just able to stay ahead. Yeah, you start you starting to pick up on on Charlie's habits. Yeah. Sure. Tries to punch the slide with Hazanchu, doesn't work out. Okay, I'll Goes for the reset. Yeah, this is Grand Finals. We got it updated there in the top middle. If you okay. want to take a look at that there. Spinning bird kick, EX, wake up slide. Yeah. Is it mix up? No. Doesn't yeah. have an option select for the back dash. Just looks like. Does running grab not stop back dash? I mean, it might. He's not doing it. Yeah, I guess that's true. He's been getting Man, back dash over. Just, yeah, he's just going in with that slide. Yeah. PD slide, SPD, jumped out. Good, I like that. Good like punish, though. You know, just like what is outstanding to me about Charlie's play is that he's, his mental fortitude is just so strong. Like, he's so good about coming back from deficits, and he's so good about riding the momentum and punishing people even harder. Which is, like, really ironic because he always tells me about how bad he gets tournament nerves. Doesn't really look like it, man. He gets, like... like, like he, he literally went to the liquor store and has slammed, like, two beers mm, okay. just outside yeah. just to calm himself. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he always tells me about how bad his tournament nerves are. Yeah. Well, whatever, uh, I guess whatever helps him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever works. And from this range here, um, Chun-Li doesn't really have any punishes yeah. for, for oil. So he can just oil at full screen, and there's nothing really much that well, she can do about it. Uh, that was a really was, rare, yeah, rare Yeah, that was really weird. But good for Charlie coming out on, the, on top of that scramble. No, Vegas, as a matter of fact, I am not. Ooh, good slide that press. Nice I'm not talking about Robbie, I'm talking about Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Um. Okay, and he was expecting the focus, but he still walks away with him. That's good. I think that's a kill, yeah. yeah that's it. And the thing hits it 80,000 times. Yeah. Another thing. Another thing that Charlie or, and Hakans in general, I really don't see for some reason. Like everybody knows, it's a really good button, but I don't see enough representation of Stan Fierce. Okay, yeah, it's 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 pretty like, rude. Like it's it's slow on startup, but I've never seen it get counter hit out of anything. I've never seen it lose. It's a trade. really fast, and it, it's got a good anti-air property to it. Yeah, it's got a really good hitbox, really yeah. beefy hitbox. Does a lot of damage. Yeah, works as a great frame trap. Yeah, kind of like jab, 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 fierce. Kind of like a blanca pressure type yeah. thing, really. Yeah. Okay. I think he tried. Oils, like he tried full screen there. Yeah, I don't know, side. man. I think I might actually want to see Robbie use Ultra One because he can punish some of those oils and some of those whip grabs better and stuff yeah. like that. Because right now all he can do is EX legs and uh, Ultra Two. Yeah. Ooh, Hassan should break glass there. Stay around house, good keeping. Good keeping a gun like, I mean, this is kind of a downfall on these play. Like, she's not going to get major burst damage to come back, but she doesn't really have that sort of comeback potential. Yeah, she just kind of has to rely on out for the entire you know? time. Yeah. And then Charlie goes up one up. So I mean, he can. Uh, he only needs three wins here, three three games, and then he's uh, and he walks away. And Robbie doing his patented face slap to try to get himself back into the game. Yeah. Good forward around house. He seems to have like really kind of composed himself lately, though. You know what I mean? He's not. Uh, yeah. He's kind of gotten the emotions under control, and it's definitely making him play a lot better. You can totally tell. Media slide SPD does the reversal jab, which I'm pretty um, sure he actually learned from me. Like <laughs> I had to tell him about it. Well, about what? Though? About the uh, running grab, how you have to do reversal jab or else uh, you get yeah. in the restand okay. animation. That's cool. Ultra two, does that work? No. Okay. Yeah. SPD, does SPD? Okay, that works. I'm gonna grab air. He doesn't really have an answer for that FADC slide. Yeah, it's really fast too. Yeah. Can't really react to it or anything. And if, if you don't guess right, he can totally SPD you for free. Yeah. Good. Robbie's finally realizing how well Stan Fierce will work out in this matchup for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just gotta be careful with it because the con can do some really dangerous focus stuff, and yeah. it's kind of got a lot of uh, recovery on it. I mean, not not too much, but still. Okay. Yeah, good, good read on that. Yeah, Robbie adjusting really quick. Man, Charlie is getting hit by that second hit of that target combo so much. He's not focusing, he's just not blocking the second hit. Yeah. So, and Charlie's kind of found himself in the corner there. 
Charlie's trying not to get that corner pressure. That's kind of rough against, against Chun Li. She's kind of like a Balrog or something where she's got really long ranging, fast normals that yeah. are, I mean, they keep you in the corner. She doesn't have too reliable of an anti air though, so it's kind of hard for her to keep it there. It's not as easy to jump out against Balrog as it is. Good Chun -Li. slide as an anti air. Meaty slide, Vulture 1. That, oh, tries good. To punish, man. So it's like a 50 50 on that so far, and Charlie's coming ahead pretty much every time. Yeah, I don't think Robbie knows at all about Meaty slide. Because it's totally safe on block. Yeah. Well, okay. he's trying to he's, yeah, either trying to neutral jump or something like that. What a comeback from Charlie. Good stuff. And he goes up 2 0. Charlie trying to do a stick switch. Actually, I'm pretty sure. Like I'm pretty sure it's actually plus on block. Maybe. Depending on which Maybe. which slide you do in what setup. Maybe if you have ADCs or something like that. I don't know what just happened. I have no idea. Okay, so here we are. Charlie's sitting on the point here. And this is kind of what we saw last time. Is uh, Robbie was doing a lot of you know DPs out of uh, Charlie's focus attacks and things like that. And he just wasn't able to come ahead. I think he got a little too crazy with the DPs. I mean, that's what led him to have so much success. But kind of still did lose it for him. But here we go. Let's see if Robbie can do something different with this. If not, Charlie will have done pretty well today. Um, he did run into some difficulty with some players, but I mean that's that's part of the quality of the player. Yeah, for sure. Good combo. Good grab. Nice SPD. Presence of mind. Just, uh, step back Take that damage all day for some oil. He's so good at kind of. You know, taking away that mid-range game that Hakan doesn't really succeed at too well, like the far-range game. Whoa, like his, uh, his car dashing like with the focus attacks are so good for the Nice air throw. Just the mobility options in general. Good way to punish by Robbie. Another thing I noticed that Charlie does, hasn't really been doing at all this tournament is uh, it's not it's not the best option, but it's a good option. Is doing a tick SPD. Mm. But uh, while Hakan's SP wow, good pu good punish, very good punish. That's minus two, I believe. Okay. But um, as I was saying, <laughs> Robbie, on uh, on losing the grand final, sounds out. Yeah, Robbie's and starting to look on tilt. Charlie, I mean, I slapping think those buttons. I think he's. I mean, Charlie, I don't think he's dropped around yet, has he? Or has he dropped one round? I maybe? don't think so. Yeah. So Robbie, I mean, Charlie's got the read on it, man. It looks like Robbie oh. looks really unfamiliar in this matchup, kind of. Yeah. Okay, EX is Just out. Just let it rip. Um, Fireball up real quick. Freezes up. Good car throw after the jab take pressure. Ken says, you got grabs, I got grabs too. SPD, yeah. A few more mix-ups here. There's the Shinryu, Yuki. that's probably going to yeah, close it out. There it is. Good. But yeah, as I was saying, like another thing that Hakan's should do more that I think is still a really good option is doing tick throw like crouch light kick like you can totally do tick throw ultra one with crouch light kick and just buffer during yeah. the duration of the move yeah makes sense it's totally a legit strat with Hakan makes sense I don't know how active Charlie is but it doesn't really ever seem to matter he just always comes in and beats people yeah he'll disappear for a little bit and come in and take top three still at max out doesn't yeah. matter yeah he plays online a lot I heard mm, okay makes sense he still has such solid fundamentals, though. Yeah. He doesn't really have that online character presence. You know what I mean? Online yeah. player presence. Good SPD. Oil up. Another grab. Yeah. Man. Those are uh, next those guess is pretty much over. Those step kicks are minus two on block. Okay. So I mean, wow, okay. good stuff from Robbie. Good read. Robbie goes up one two, and this is kind of what he needs. I mean, Robbie's one of the biggest momentum players in Kansas City. Yeah. I'd say. Robbie finally putting one up on the board. Yeah, this could be big for him. But this is kind of what happened. I, I think this is, exa is exactly what happened last time. I think Charlie went up. Um, I guess it wouldn't have been 2-0, but I, I feel like Charlie went up really dominantly. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Robbie kind of battled back a little bit, but still wasn't able to come back. All right. So we'll see if he's able to do it or not. And Robbie is a tough mental player, especially when he has the momentum. He can make incredible things happen. Yeah. Seems to have a pretty good read on the focuses, though, honestly. Yeah, I, th on that. I think Robbie's finally getting the idea that Charlie likes to do armor canceling a lot. Yes. So he should just throw out Tatsu. Yes. Um, 
gonna break yeah. some glass. Yeah, he's throwing out the X fireballs to see that too for the second hit. Yeah. He doesn't get the combo off that. I think he was trying to walk in and grab actually. Well, okay. not he's really too strong up in the air. Or I mean, uh, on wake up. So, I mean, if I were him, but Ken's kind of mix up options, I would just keep him on the ground as often as possible. Oil up. Oh yeah, my. Punish. Okay. Round of Charlie. Man, and Robbie's smiling. He's like, yeah, I know. Well done. I deserve that shit. Well, well, well done. memed. Yeah. Well memed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, here we go. Charlie's sitting again. on match point here again. Oil up. That oil stacks, man. Stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks. Okay. Ooh, good focus. Man. It's kind of just altering the timings on these focuses so much. Yeah, it's really hard to get a read on Charlie's focus, yeah. focus timings. Yeah. My Charlie, I respect that. <laughs> oh, no big punish. Brad getting in, oh, the, man. Uh, getting in the meme. Oh, oh, boy. One more mix-up here. That's yeah, this is it. Yeah, he's looking to be looking for that standing fierce, like you were saying. That's it. That's Good it. Slide. And Charlie Good takes stuff it for pretty Charlie. convincingly, man. Charlie, it wasn't an easy run from the entire time, but I mean, he, he had some difficulty with fire, uh, with full bleed and uh, fire team there, but yeah, he ran it back. So let's kind of close out the. Uh, I love here. tits, Charlie. Congratulations, to Charlie, and good stuff on Robbie taking out fire team with Avengers. What is going on today with this challenge? With this challenge. Let's go! Gas boys! Okay, we're not able to close out the bracket today, but uh, we'll have Robbie do a sign off here in a little bit once he gets done with the payouts. <laughs> once he hands out that fight money. The sick ducats. Fire meme. Good stuff. Good stuff to everybody. We can't get the challenge bracket to work, Robbie, so. Oh, yeah, 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 I don't know. Okay, well, thanks, everybody. My name is Ben Cups. Um, Robbie's going to do a sign off real fast. Keep watching and keep it learning. Yeah, I love you all. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you so much for watching Top in the Shop this evening. Shout outs to Vegas. Shout outs to DFS Nobody, Young Alan Jackson. How Fuerte in the chat. Now he's here. Uh, ch -ch -ch who am I forgetting? Uh, Wraith Vincent, of course, hanging out with us even before. Uh, casuals were going down. Sorry you couldn't make it out tonight. Casey Notorious as well and uh, everybody else. Thanks so much for watching and follow along tonight. Uh, again, uh, really helps our scene when you guys watch. So appreciate it. Appreciate you guys following along in chat as well. So uh, I don't really got else to say. Shout outs to Cups, Luxon, Watson, Fire Team, holding down the commentary tonight. Appreciate them holding it down, giving you guys a good broadcast. So, yeah, if you guys want more Midwest Street Fighter action, please hit that favorite button. We did have a hype match, first to ten, between myself and Fire Team scheduled for tonight. Uh, unfortunately, that will have to take place next week, as it is already midnight here, and everybody knows how long first to tens can go, um, even though I expect I would get blown up by Fire Team pretty quick. So uh, that's all we got for tonight. Again, hit that follow button. Uh, shout outs to No Alias and our anonymous do uh, donator. Those donations going towards uh, shop headsets. As you guys might have noticed, some of the audio been a little wonky tonight. So hopefully that will be fixed once we uh, raise money for those headsets. Um, that's all I got tonight. My name is Robbie Votaw. Remember, the worst thing you can do when it comes to fighting games is never pick up a controller next time.